Good morning. Good morning. This is Elizabeth Griffin, your indie author from South Philadelphia. And welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and do so. And definitely continue to share my content with others. Have I mentioned my father to you before? Have I talked about him in any way? My father is a man who is well past his 90s in age. When he was 17, he enlisted in the World War II. He was a young soldier and he represented this country. My father has lived through many decades and he is fast approaching a century, his 100th birthday. And I pray to God that he makes it. I want to mention my father because I'm realizing that longevity runs in my family. My uncle, he lived to his 90s until he passed away. I have an aunt who is uh, related to me through marriage and she lived to be 90. And her mother lived to be 100 years old. So I want to talk about aging. I want to talk about preparing to live a long life. The things that you need to do to encourage this type of, uh, of longevity. Exercising, going to the doctor, eating well, trying to relieve stress, living a happy life, living a respectful life, loving others, being kind to others. I'm sure those things add to the longevity of your life. Obviously, living this life in this world can be difficult, can be challenging. And as you get older, people sometimes uh, don't respect you or give you the respect that you should get uh, as an older, mature person uh, that has wisdom and has uh, knowledge to offer to the young. We're not going to go on a tangent there. I just want to say that you can enjoy your life in your 60s, in your 70s, in your 80s. It's all about how you approach living and it's all about what you consider important. And for me, family, legacy, those things are important. The business, the family business is important. Spreading love and hope and happiness, these things are important. So I hope you take this into consideration in your aging. 